This is vScope Live Part 3, adjusting some advanced background settings. So the first one I'm going to talk about is the fine tuning one, which looks like the mountain button. The reason why you will want to use the fine tuning is to adjust some fuzziness either in the green screen or shadows behind you. So you can move this fine tuning bar to the right or to the left to kind of adjust some slight little fuzzy variation. So find the setting that works for you. Another setting you can adjust is the lens button. Here you can adjust the focus, the exposure, and the white balance. So first I'm going to be talking about the focus button. Now vScope Live does a great job of automatically focusing on the screen, but if you want to manually change it, you can click it to unlock it and then move the lens area to the part where you want to focus on. So I have my little figures in the foreground, or if you want to focus somewhere in the background, you can adjust that to a background space. The next one I'm going to be talking about is the exposure button. What this is going to do is it's going to change the lightness or darkness that's absorbed into the camera. Now exposure is automatically going to start in the center, so you can move that to the right, and this is a great exposure setting for me. If I move it into the shadow here into a darker space, you're going to see the green screen app get a little bit uh, darker. So again, change the exposure area to what's going to get you the best results. And the last button I'm going to talk about is the white balance one. If your colors are off, have a person with a white card stand in front of the screen and tap on their white card. And have a white card, so I tapped on the white binder. And when you're done, lock up the setting. 